Sturgeon group of species is identified as priority for Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, globally. And one of the important areas for sturgeon conservation is the Eastern Black Sea, particularly waters of Georgia. In these waters, we have six globally threatened sturgeon species still survived, but population of the sturgeon and the number of sturgeon individuals declined dramatically during the last 100 years. This is the reason why Rioni River is so important. This is the last spawning river. We don't have any other spawning rivers, at least in the Eastern Black Sea, not only in Georgia, but considering also Russia and considering Turkey. This is the global importance of this site. And uh, we uh, clearly feel our responsibility. So we are here on the Rioni River today in, uh, in May 2018. It's a cooperative project with the World Wildlife Foundation and the Georgian government and some colleagues from the United States and Canada. I'm just amazed that you know, there's 27 species of sturgeon and six of them occur in this Georgian River. I've scoured the literature and there's very little that's known about sturgeon in this system. And um, myself and my colleague John and Stephanie were invited by the WWF and the Georgian government to come here and try some, uh, try some different methodologies with the, with the idea of developing a collaborative project that, that we can provide some assistance to, to help foster recovery of these uh, endangered species. I think it comes down to education, whether it's working with the local people in terms of illegal fishing, uh, that may be an education point. It's, there's also questions about habitat in terms of loss of habitat through hydropower. I think there could be potential for better cooperation and communication with hydropower to, to work out and just communicate so that during certain times of the year we're we're allowing the river to run in a more natural state. I do have some concerns about sand and gravel mining because there's very little spawning habitat that's left right now in the Rioni and I think it's of great importance that we protect that habitat. Using different acoustic techniques to map the, the river and the fish that are in the river and the sediments that are on the bottom of the river. So I use an instrument that is high resolution and it can pick up and make maps of what the bottom of the river looks like and we can look at those sediments and tell us about the type of habitat that the sturgeon would, would live in. We're here testing some acoustic telemetry equipment, the equipment that's used for monitoring aquatic species. And basically the way it works is you have a transmitter that you surgically implant in the fish and you have a receiver that you deploy underwater. We've done some preliminary testing and we've, we've, we've seen encouraging results, we think based on this testing that it will be feasible to use this monitoring technology in, in the Rioni River. So we've had great cooperation from the WWF and with the Coquetti National Park people to be able to take our instruments and be able to work in this particular river. Our preliminary results are very exciting. We think there's a lot of potential to use both the side scan sonar and the acoustic telemetry to try to work on and develop methods to be able to conserve these really important fish for not only the people of the Republic of Georgia, but also for the world. Our effort now is focused on conservation. It is clear that we should establish, we should assist government, we should lobby in the relevant governmental agencies, establishment of protected area on this last section of the Rioni River where we have spawning ground. And I do hope our activities finally will bring successful results.